Okay, uh, it is Sunday afternoon, this is some dude, and I'm going to show you uh, what's it like to join Star Citizen for the first time, and how exactly you do a lot of the things that you need to do the first time you start in Star Citizen. So, we're going to start out. So this is the main menu. You've got Persistent Universe, which is the big... Uh, the PU is kind of is the main game, pretty much. So that's where all the plants are, all the all the missions and ship interactions and people and all that stuff. That's Persistent Universe. Star Marine is the FPS uh, module. You can play either with friends or against AI. Uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's a test pitch for FPS combat. So if you want to just relax and do some like six on six player battles. That's where you go, although I think it's mostly deserted at this point. Arena Commander, however, uh, that's all space fighting, dog fighting. Um, that's a great way to learn how to fly your ship for the first time. Because um, you can go in here and we'll bring up... You can do... Uh, so you select the ship that you want. I have plenty of ships. Select the ship that you want, you can customize your ship, and then you can do... If you want to just learn how to fly... Do a free flight. Yeah, pick your map. And then free, free flight is literally that. It's You just fly around. Great way to learn how to fly a ship for the first time. But, should you want to skip all that, we'll take you through Persistent Universe. So, you're going to create your character first. And you have a range of heads to choose from. And what's unique about this game is that the character creation is you are blending multiple characters. So you could do this and say these are parents. Uh, here's the eye color I want. It. Now I'll give my I'll give myself my hazel eyes. Uh, but you can do so. Say you like this guy's ears better. Maybe we give him the same ears. Maybe we don't. I kind of like three quarters of the way. Cheeks. So, this is all of the head on the left, all of the head on the right. So, 50 50. I'll say about here. And. Yeah, like there. Right there. No, so we can move it around. So that's what that's what the guy on the right snows looks like. That's what it looks like it was completely the guy on the left. So eh. have the hair we need to change. So we're gonna change his color. I'm rocking the gray recently. I don't know why. I think I'm just kind of accepting the fact that I'm gonna go gray at some point. And then you pick a hairstyle, gonna give him a nice military cut. Yeah, something like that. That works. And then Review it, that's what your character looks like. All the way around. Accept it. And now you can pick where you want to start. So we're going to pick the stand system. And then you've got any of the four plants. So you've got Orison on Crusader. Uh, beautiful place, easily one of the most beautiful locations around. Um, not the best place for someone starting out. A, there's very limited weapons, and uh, so each place has their own pros and cons. Orison for ship customization is fantastic because you've got count, you've got uh, I want to say it's cannon crows, it's cousin crows. Uh, you've got cousin crows there. Uh, they are lacking in terms of a weapon and armor uh, shops. Uh, Loreville, you've got Mission Givers there. You've got two, you've got Constantine Harson, you've got uh, Dardis 
uh, Tenjili. Um, the Loreville uh, is very oppressive, so they don't really have a weapon shop. You can actually get the AO3 rifle there at Tavany and Sons, and you can actually get some good armor there. Uh, but you're you're kind of lacking in. You don't have any any uh, ship component places to buy anything. You don't have a weapon shop. You don't really have an armor. I mean, you kind of have an armor shop, mostly a clothing shop. Less clo more clothing than armor. Area 18, which is my place I tend to visit, I tend to start out in. Uh, it's got an armor shop, a weapon shop, same shop, a uh, clothing shop, a uh, ship dealer, ship component shop, um, and this is all planet side. I had plenty of uh, food purveyors to give you to get you food and nourishment. And new Babbage, uh, same thing. You've got weapon shop. Uh, kind of have an armor shop. Kind of. I think you've got shoe bib, and so you can only get the Ari armor. Um, you do have weapons, you do get ship weapons within the weapon shop. That's all Omega Pro. Um, yeah, you don't. You don't have a sh you don't have a ship vendor. Uh, I mean it's kind of lacking. It it's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. It's probably the second most beautiful place in the in Stanton outside of Orson. Personally, I've always preferred Art Corp. So that's my primary residence. So you're gonna set your primary residence, and you can change this uh, in game. So that, well. You can't change primary residence, you can change where you spawn at in-game. So you go to any medical facility and just set your regeneration point to that medical facility and then you'll respawn there when you die. So I tend to go to the genie point up in the spaceport and change my uh, regeneration place to there. That way I just spawn at the start at the spaceport. I mean the, the orbiting shipyard. Um, orbiting station, not shipyard. Uh, so you go to the ordering station, and then when you die, you just respawn there, and then all your stuff is shared between planet and stations, so uh, you can access all everything that you bought on, on uh, in the city from the station, and vice versa. Uh, but so if you also reset your character, all the stuff that you had from all the places in Stan that you had it located at. So if you bought stuff at Area 18, at Lorville, uh, Orison, or if you had stuff stashed at Outposts, all of that comes back and it's all in, in your global inventory back in your, your primary residence whenever you reset your character. So, what are we going to do? Well, first when we load, this is loading screen, it's going to take a bit. I mean, I've got a pretty beefy computer. Um, it still takes a bit. I, I just kind of accept it at this point. So we are going to hop in at some point. We're going to wake up in our bed. And when we wake up in our bed, there's going to be a few things we're going to have to do before we actually take off in our ship. So I'll walk you through some of that. I, I mean, this is, you know, old hat for me because I've been playing this since, oh god, like 2.0 at least. I think I may actually remember like 1.8, 1.5, something like that. Um, I remember when it was just at Arena Commander and that was it. I had not, and then uh, 2.0 dropped and we got the baby PU where we just had Port, uh, Port Alistar. That was it. And we had uh, places that we could jump to, like satellites, and they were all just set pieces. We couldn't actually fly there. We had to, we had to jump there only. Um, so yeah, now we're in 316, and I've got so much stuff that I can do. Okay, so you wake up like this, and you're going, where the hell am I? Oh, well, I'm in a bed. Oh, huh? that's weird. How am I in a bed? Why, why can't I get so? And you're like, oh god, I can't get up. How do I get up? How can I get up? I can press all the buttons. I can't get up. Well, 
you can actually press one if you hit D, uh, but we'll show you, you also can hit Y, which will automatically get you out of any C. Or you could do inner thought, which is hold F, look over to your right, and hit get up. Okay, so. This.